Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here with the news that matters from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Hope you're all fit and well. Let's see the news making headlines today. Over to Beijing now in China and the Chinese Communist Party finding out a lot of hostility towards it over the coronavirus and its military actions. In Thailand, domestic tourism has taken on a new flavour and that being, we love Thailand. Thai Prime Minister says the Chinese virus outbreak could last for another nine months. Two Chinese nationals charged with selling sex toys. And that's a big no-no in Thailand. Thousands head home as Phuket's checkpoint opens up again. And a strange story about a monkey on a motorbike that takes a little infant for a ride. Over to China now, Beijing. An international Chinese report warns that Beijing faces a rising wave of hostility in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak that could tip relations with the United States into a confrontation, of which the Chinese Communist Party would have no hope of winning. The report presented early this month by the Ministry of State Security to the top Beijing leaders, including the Chinese Communist Party President Xi Jinping, included that global anti-Chinese sentiment is at its highest point since the 1989 Tiananmen Square crackdown, the source said. The cover-up of Chinese coronavirus outbreak, buying up of medical supplies from countries that did not have the coronavirus and when it arrived in their country had no defense because the Chinese Communist Party bought up all the medical supplies to fight the virus and shipped them back to China, leaving those countries defenseless against the Chinese coronavirus which originated in China when it arrived in those countries. As a result, Beijing faces a wave of anti-Chinese sentiment led by the United States in the aftermath of the Chinese coronavirus pandemic and its alleged cover-up, and needs to be prepared in worst-case scenario for an armed confrontation between the two global powers, according to the people familiar with the report's content, who declined to be identified given the sensitivity of the matter. Relations between China and the United States are widely seen as being at their worst point in decades, with deepening mistrust and friction points from US allegations of unfair trade, technical practices to disputes over Hong Kong, Taiwan and contested territories in the South China Sea. Unfortunately, the Chinese Communist Party feels that nobody will stand up to them and are acting oblivious to the whole world watching the Chinese Communist Party's activities of late. While the world is busy with the Chinese coronavirus, the Chinese Communist Party has been busy flexing its muscle. Domestic tourism campaign, We Love Thailand, to be launched. Fantastic news. Tourism Council is preparing to start the we Love Thailand campaign to stimulate domestic tourism after the situation normalises. Council President Sherat, I am not even going to attempt to say his second name. Well, he said they were in cahoots with the Tourism Ministry and the Tourism Authority of Thailand. Probably a good idea to get results. This campaign will promote new local products and attractions, especially those involved in tourism and communities. Sharat also said domestic tourism needs to be promoted for one or two years. Above all, while the market waits for foreign tourists to regain confidence. In the initial phase, it is expected that people from China, South Korean or Asians would return to Thailand, he said. Thailand needs Chinese tourists as we recover, Sharat added. When the situation becomes safe again, Chinese will return to Thailand as tourists as the two countries are very close together. But more importantly, the Chinese market has the capacity to expand. Well, maybe in the past it did, I don't know about now. Mass unemployment in Thailand's tourist sector and at least 6 million people could lose their jobs due to the Chinese coronavirus outbreak, another report said. Unemployment will affect millions of people in the Thailand tourist sector, a critical industry that accounts for 21% of the country's GDP. 21%. Thailand's tourist sector has overcome many past shocks, including natural disasters and political instability. 
However, the current Chinese coronavirus pandemic is unprecedented in modern history. The number of unemployed people could even rise to 10 million if the Chinese coronavirus pandemic does not subside by the end of June, the report by the Thai University of Commerce warned. The Thai Prime Minister Pratyut Chanacha is saying the Chinese coronavirus outbreak impact may last another nine months as disruptions from the global crisis drag on tourism and domestic activities. Southeast Asia's second largest economy could lose more than 1.3 trillion baht, or if you'd like that in US dollars, 44 billion, and up to 10 million jobs due to the Chinese coronavirus outbreak. And that's according to business analysts and business groups. Life in Thailand reopens to a new normal existence, with the effects of the Chinese coronavirus outbreak expected to be with the kingdom for six to nine months, according to the Thai Prime Minister Pratyut Chanacha on Tuesday. He was speaking to a very nervous public and health officials, striving to get the country back to work. The Kingdom of Thailand has less than 3,000 infections and only 54 deaths, which has begun to intrigue observers as Thailand was the first country to report a case of the Chinese coronavirus officially to the World Health Organization outside of China. We expect the impact on the economy to last for quite a while, not only three months, but possibly six months or nine months, Prime Minister Priyat Chanacha told a news conference. Prat Yut also said he might ask more rich people for cooperation in addressing the economical fallout from the outbreak, as he did with the country's 20 richest people last month, which was a total success. The Thai government has introduced economical measures worth billions of dollars to mitigate the impact of the Chinese coronavirus, including its last package worth 1.9 trillion baht, 59 billion US dollars, that was approved in early April. The central bank has forecast the Thai economy will shrink 5.3% this year, which would be the worst contraction since the Asian currency and debt crisis of 1998. As of May the 6th, Thailand has reported a total of 2,988 infections and 54 deaths since the outbreak emerged in January. Thailand started reopening some businesses on Sunday. Two Chinese nationals arrested on sex toy bust in Bangkok and other related offences. Two Chinese nationals have been nabbed for selling contraband including sex toys, hemp oil, worth millions of baht, according to police. Thailand's Action Task Force for Information Technology Crime Suppression yesterday named the suspects as only Li and Yan, saying the Chinese pair were arrested at a commercial building in the Bangkok district. Police seized large quantities of masks, hand sanitizer gel, temperature scanners, sex toys and hemp oil. The goods were estimated to be worth more than 5 million baht. The pair allegedly told police the goods were being stored in the building before being distributed to online customers. The pair of Chinese nationals previously sold only sex toys, but expanded to face masks and gel when the Chinese coronavirus outbreak began. The Chinese nationals were both charged with selling contraband items, goods of a pornographic nature and unlicensed cosmetic drugs. The Commerce Ministry has vowed to crack down on more than 300 online stores overpriced goods or unlabeled items. In another story related to this, meanwhile a Lao broker has filed a complaint against an online trader who failed to supply 650,000 Thai baht worth of face masks. A lawyer said her client only identified as Kong brokered the mask deal for Lao medical personnel from the two Chinese nationals who failed to supply the mask to Lao medical personnel. Miss Kong is accused of fraud in Lao because she failed to deliver the masks promised by the two Chinese nationals. Over to Phuket now. Thousands head home as Phuket checkpoint opens again. Yes, thousands of people start the journey back to their home provinces as the Phuket checkpoint leading to the bridge off the island was officially reopened at 5 a.m. on May the 3rd. Some 7,000 people have been issued their fit to travel permit and have been granted permission 
to leave the island and return to their home provinces. More than 40,000 people have registered to leave the island, mainly due to the lack of the income as a result from the Chinese coronavirus outbreak and lockdown restrictions. Some were allowed to leave on Friday, May the 1st, before the checkpoint was closed as officials were overwhelmed. Of the 7,000 people who issued their fit to travel permit, 3,600 people have been allocated travel times. Officers at the checkpoint will not be overrun as had happened on Friday. Now they are gearing up to 7,000 people an hour. People who do not have passes the screening by health officials will not be allowed to leave. Everyone who is registered must leave in time, General Rungrat said. It takes time to go through the checkpoint as everyone has to be screened by health officials in order to build confidence for those destination provinces that those people leaving Phuket have passed the screening process. General Rangrat explained. General Rangrat made no comment on the scores of people who had presented themselves at the checkpoint yesterday in the hope of being allowed to leave the island. Some reports online claim that some people were allowed across the bridge. An amazing film clip in Surabaya in Indonesia on the weekend. A primate is seen speeding towards the child, leaping off his bike and grabbing the child and dragging him along the street. The child was unharmed except for a little bit of trauma. It's not every day you get attacked by a monkey bikey. He'll have trouble telling this story when he gets older.